Hi, I am Nunu Vixen and this is Girl Talk. And today I will be talking about the incident that happened a little bit over a week ago. So let me just get right into it. Seattle Seahawk offense lineman Chad Willer was arrested on suspicion of domestic violence Friday after police said he had choked his girlfriend, dislocated her arm and smashed in her face after she refused to bow to him. Of him attacking her when she became unconscious and she finally woke up the second time and she was running to the bathroom, she said that he said, while you're still alive and in the process of him saying, while are you still alive, he was eating. So he thought he killed her. He knew what he was doing. He was still, I'm going to get into the, the topic of what y'all are trying to make it seem like of him having mental illness, but I just wanted to say the story first and foremost. Aaliyah locked herself in the bathroom and called 911. And when she called 911, she claimed that she was being killed. The woman reportedly told the cops that she was bleeding and had suffered a dislocated arm. When the cops arrived, they said in their report, they had heard screaming from the resident's home. When they entered the home, they said that they continued to hear screaming from the bathroom where they found Willer standing next to the woman. Cops reported that they said they were told that Allegation began after the woman, like I had said already, that she refused to bow to the NFL player. Cop says that when Miller grabbed the woman and threw her on her bed and choked her until she was unconscious. Okay, so now that that is said, um, I first would like for the articles and for the statements that they're saying about Chaz Willer for them to stop saying illegally and um suspicious, like it really didn't happen. We seen the photos of the girl. We seen the graphic details that she said, and this was an NFL player. None of the less when y'all keep saying, um, he was over 250 pounds and stuff like that. Yes, we, we get that he was strong and he was an NFL player, but he's a man. And we all know that men are physically and stronger than women. And, um, I also would like to speak on when I see the article on social media and looking up the news online and stuff, and I see the comments. And it's always women. And I feel like how are women, women, like me and you are the same sex. You're up under a comment when you see a woman who looks unconscious. She looked dead in the photo. It just, it just is what it is. She looked dead in the photo. Nose is all bloody, swollen. Eyes is dark, black eyes and all this. She got dislocated arm. And y'all up under there laughing, talking about some, oh, I, I, it couldn't be me. I wish that would be me and y'all laughing with LOL emojis and stuff like that. Talking about some, um, it was all the signs that she probably just wanted to stay with him for money. And I don't know why she was with the man. She could have been with the man for love, but that's, that's, that's not even the point. It's the point that y'all laughing and y'all women. And I can't stand women that tries to play that. Oh, it can never be me because you can be humble real quick. It's not like God can't humble your ass and you up there laughing at another woman situation and even men too. I'm not, I'm not just going to get on the women. It's men too. Y'all are up under the comments talking about, I bet next time she bow. I bet next time she get on the ground. Like y'all are sick. And it's, and when I go to y'all profile, y'all are black men laughing at a black woman who get her, who, 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 who get beat up by another man. And what I'm noticing about y'all black men is that if it was y'all mom, if it was y'all sister, of course y'all would y'all would raise hell and stuff like that. It would be so wrong for your your little baby sister to get her ass beat by a man. But yet y'all can be the same ones up under a post laughing at a woman getting beat, as if this can't be y'all situation. And let me just say this right quick: a lot of y'all be saying, "Why me? Why am I being um punished? And why am I not being blessed? Why am I not being abundance of blessings and stuff like that?" And y'all, and y'all families be getting shot up. Y'all house be getting shot up. Um, somebody didn't die. Y'all don't be thinking that's karma when stuff keep happening to y'all. It might be because your ass was up under a post laughing at a woman who was unconscious twice by a man beating her. That was her boyfriend. That might be the reason why you're not getting blessed. I'm not trying to make this into a race thing, but. I don't know if y'all remember when Chad Ocho Cinco, also known as Chad Johnson, had headbutted Evelyn Lazada in her forehead when they got in an argument with from um who did he play? Um New England's Patriots, the football team. It didn't take them a long time to release his ass from the team, did it? It seemed like when that had happened that day, that night they was releasing him. But it took the Seattle Seahawks how long to release 
this man when he did this and then y'all got the nerd talking about some it is saddening us it's it's saddening you i can't even pronounce it right it is saddening us it shouldn't settle it should not make y'all sad to get rid of his abusive ass. Let me say what the actual Seattle Seahawks said when they released Chad. It says, The Seahawks are saddened by the details emerging against Chad Willard and strongly commend that the act of domestic violence our thoughts are supported are with the, the victim. Chad is a free agent and no longer with this team. If you are experiencing domestic violence, call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233 or go to a hotline org. All calls are total free and confidential. The hotline is available 24 seven in more than 170 languages. We encourage Chad to get the help he need. If you are experiencing mental illness, please reach out for help for immediate help with mental health crisis or thoughts of suicide. Contact the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255. Okay, so that's what they said. And I feel like that was just a bitch ass statement that they had said because it took forever for them to, to say it because they were saddened about it, the issue. I can't even think the other football player when he had the dogs and stuff like that in his backyard and stuff. And y'all release him for um abuse against animals and stuff like that. If it, we all know if it was an African American athlete, y'all would have been got rid of him, been got through with him. But when it comes to a come to Chad Willer on the Seattle Seahawks. Y'all take forever to release him and for, forever to reach, to put out a statement. And I'm also going to read the tweets that Chad put out on um his Twitter. And he said, it is time for me to walk away from football and get the help that I need. Never again pose a threat to another. I cannot express my sorrow and remorse enough. I am truly ashamed. I apologize profusely for the turmoil that I have caused to my family, teammates, and fan, and those close to me. The most important thing right now is that Aaliyah gets the care she needs and I get help. Both are happening. And the other tweet was, events happening over the weekend that transpire for a maniac episode. I am deeply sorry for the, the pain that I have caused for Aaliyah and her family. And I see that also in articles and also on the news, y'all making it seem like he um had a mental um problem and stuff like that and he had um bipolar disorder and let me just say this when it comes to um mental health because I have mental health issues I have anxiety and I and, and I and I feel like everybody has had a mental um crisis in their life before and if you never had one I feel like um you're blessed but you probably will have I'm not saying I'm not trying to wish it on nobody but usually people have had something um of trauma in their life where they have had a mental crisis or a mental breakdown, anxiety, you know, bipolar, anxiety, depression. If they have, um, uh, if they are bipolar, if they are, um, schizophrenic, you know, you, that's, that's usually common in the U S. Okay. But, um, I feel like when it comes to some, when it comes to someone's mental and, um, Every time somebody rapes somebody or somebody beats somebody, y'all always try to bring it up as they have bi bipolar disorder and stuff like that. And um, me personally, and this is just my thought about it, y'all don't have to agree with it, but I feel like a person's mental, it's nothing wrong with a person's mental when they wake up, they put their clothes on and they go out hunting for little girls and stuff like that that they want to rape. And they've been watching this little girl for the longest. They make sure that they will not be seen. They make sure how to do it. And um before they do this, they make sure they go to Home Depot and go to um the warehouses and get they um black gloves and they tape and they they um garbage bags and stuff like that to kidnap somebody or have this person hostage in their house, rape and kill them, right? And it's the same thing about when people abuse somebody. Someone's mental like that, when y'all keep trying to make it seem like, oh, they mental isn't good and stuff like that. They mental isn't intact. They mental is good. Because people like that, they feel like they're superior over somebody to do something like that. And in the statement and in what she said, she said that he wanted her to bow to him. And since he didn't, because he feels superior over somebody, because this is a girl and she's weaker than me, probably in his mind, she's supposed to bow to me because I am an NFL player. I am an offense football player and she has to bow to me. 
Then your ass took your ass back in the... Then when you thought somebody was dead, you took your ass in a room and go ate your full plate. This not somebody with a mental problem. This somebody that's sick. Stop trying to make someone's... um. Stop trying to make someone's um mental a sickness and stuff like that. People that rape people are not mentally imposed. They're not mentally challenged and stuff like that. Stop stop doing that. When we look up bipolar disorder, it is a disorder where episodes of mood swings happen from low to high. And um it's a chemical disorder that may play in roles and stuff like that. And I get that. And it, and the symptoms of it may reduce from not getting sleep. You're not in touch with reality. Um, you might have suicidal thoughts. You might be depressed and stuff like that. And I'm not saying that someone with bipolar disorder cannot kill someone. I'm not saying that because I don't want y'all to twist that and make it seem like, oh, you know. I guess somebody can be absolutely out there fucking mind to, to do some stuff like that. But I'm saying every time when someone rapes somebody, every time when somebody beats somebody's ass, y'all always talking about some, they have bipolar disorder. When no, that's not the case. Stop trying to minimize for this person to be a victim. He's not a victim. Y'all, y'all, y'all kill me with that. Y'all do stuff to people and then y'all make it seem like y'all the victim. Y'all try to spin it some type of way to make y'all self feel better about what the shit. Y'all gonna make him seem like he the victim anyway because he's a fucking football player. He's in the eye. He's in the limelight and stuff like that. So he's superior over Aaliyah who's just a girl, right? So since he's in the limelight, he's a victim because he has bipolar disorder and he didn't take his medicine. That's what y'all are trying to tell me. Instead of an NFL player got mad at his girlfriend that did not bow to him and he attacked her and beat her up and tried to kill her. And then after he killed her, he went to go get his place, sit at the table, probably was watching Netflix, porn, or playing a game and ate a full course meal. I'm pretty sure had something to drink. That's somebody that's sick. It's sick. Okay. This is a situation of, um, Chad Willer and Aaliyah. But I just want to say, we always say in situations when it's men and, um, when it's men abusing women and we don't talk about women abusing men because we feel like, oh, you know, um, well, a man is so much stronger. You know what I'm saying? Men don't begin to abuse when men do get abused, you know, and you should never put your hands on anybody. Um, we all know that you don't supposed to be going around putting your hands on somebody just because you don't like somebody. It's wrong. It's not right. Nobody. Nobody in the world deserves to get beat on. And I just want to say, even as far as myself and stuff like that, um, being in my relationship when I'm not, when it's something that I feel like I'm disrespected with, you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't go around just hitting people, but like, if I'm in a relationship, like, like even with myself and stuff like that, like I have to learn with, um, not hitting. And what I mean by that, cause I don't go around bullying and hitting people. It's just that like, if um I feel that I'm being disrespected or if I feel like I'm being talked to wrong, um, I will go slap, you know, my significant other. And it's not right because I grew up with um my father beating my mom. It's a disgusting thing. And um I hated seeing it. I was very unhappy as a child. And I didn't understand it. And I used to think like, not saying my mom did everything right, but I used to think like, dang, like she tried to do everything to make this man happy, you know, cook, clean, you know, just everything. And he would just come home and enrage and stuff like that. Cause something was wrong with his mental, as y'all say. He, he might have had bipolar disorder and since that's the thing, but something was wrong with him. He was always enraged and he always wanted to fight and hit. And, um, I don't want to be like that. That's not the type of person I want to be at all. And, um, I have to learn myself and, you know, it's a learning thing, but you're not supposed to put your hands on nobody. And if you, if you love somebody, you're not putting your hands on somebody. If you are mad, and like I said, I, I try to speak for it. I try to speak with experience and things that I have been through or things I have seen. When you mad, you just need to walk away. And I know it's hard to walk away when like, if, um, you're not in a place that you can, but you know, go in another room. You know, count to 10, even though counting to 10 does not work for me, I have tried to just don't work, you know, go pray, you know what I'm saying? Go write down, go just, just get away from that person for some, for some time because, um, it's usually people, strangers really don't make you mad. It's usually people that you love. It just is what it is. People 
pisses you off of the people that you love. And when that person piss you off or you feel like um you can't take it anymore, you just need to walk away. You know, and tell them, you know, I need a minute right now. You know, you didn't piss me off. I don't want to be around you. Just let me get a couple of minutes. And you know, also, I know a lot of men when they get mad with their women and stuff, they try to walk away and we follow them. I'm guilty of that. No. When my husband's like, oh no, I want to walk away. No, why you ain't, why you don't want to talk to me? And it's, it's like, it's like a disrespect thing. And like I said, how you have to let people walk away and you have to walk away. Just let the person walk away and cool off. You know, if y'all live together and y'all married in a relationship and stuff like that, they'll eventually come back. They will eventually come back. If, if it's meant for y'all, they will eventually come back and then y'all can regroup and talk about it. So I just wanted to say that right quick that I never wanted to make it seem like, um, I'm just getting on because a man hit a woman when it, sh- it should be both ways. No one, like I said before, no one deserves to be hit on and beat on. No one deserves to be bullied and mistreated. It's wrong. You wouldn't want your mom to be mistreated. You wouldn't want your father to be treated, your sister, your brother. So we all should treat you. So we all should treat, so we all should treat each other and our loved ones nicely, the way we want to be treated. If you love somebody, show you love them. I am Nunu Vixen and this is Girl Talk.